Did you know that you can use AI in the Opera browser? Well, in this video, I'll show you how you can download and install the Opera browser on your Windows computer. And then later, I'll show you how you can use the AI feature called Area directly inside our browser. Now, technically, Area is not a dedicated model. It is just a feature, but the technology behind it is basically ChatGPT or Gemini. So you are going to see something that feels similar to ChatGPT. But this AI feature is directly available on the browser. So you can click on a button and the chat window will appear and you can have a conversation with AI. All right, first, if you want to download Opera, you have to navigate to opera.com. And then here you want to click browsers and click Opera browser. So right now, Opera has multiple browsers. There is Opera Air, GX, Mini, and possibly many others in the future but the one that you want to use that has the area ai feature is the opera browser just click that and then you want to download the setup file to your computer now in this case i'm using windows but i believe the process is more or less the same on other operating systems now after that let's click the setup file let's launch the program and we are ready to install the program to the computer and here there are a few settings that i highly recommend to change just click options and I highly recommend to disable this option, the improve Opera by sending feature usage information and also automatic send and crash report data to Opera. Now, technically you can, you can enable that, but I think for the sake of privacy and also if you want to reduce the amount of resources being used by Opera, then I, dis I highly recommend to disable that. But if you're comfortable with, uh, by, with sharing data with Opera, then feel free to do so. Anyway, let's click accept and upgrade. And here, uh, let's click Configure and Settings. And I will disable all of them, basically. Just disable all of them. And click continue, uh, Confirm Choices. And there you go. So right now, it is actually downloading a bunch of data from the Opera server. Because the setup file is actually just the launcher. It's not containing the browser. And that's why it is downloading the actual, the actual browser data from the server. This process could take a while, depending on your internet speed and in this case my network is very slow so i'll just skip forward and show you the next step all right now let's click get started it's just some onboarding process and you can select the team i guess i'm gonna go with the dark team next so the style let's try using the default style and okay this is ad blockers it's really up to you whether or not you want to disable ad blockers because some people says that uh, even when you disable ad blockers, ads still appear anyway. And also, some people prefer to uh, enable ads, maybe because they want to support some creators that they watch on YouTube. I don't know, but you can also disable ads if you want to. So this is completely optional. And here, I'm going to enable ads uh, because I actually are working in that field. So I want to know what ads look like, and I want to use it as a way to learn how people use uh, or create ad campaigns. But if you are not in that business, I think it's safe for you to just disable ads. Now let's click next. And then you can actually enable some shortcuts to various chat apps like Messenger, Telegram, Instagram, etc. So I'm not using Messenger, but I do use WhatsApp and X or Twitter. So I'm going to enable that. Click next. And you can import data from previous browsers that you have, but I'm not going to do that. I think I'm going to start Opera with blank slate, no data at all. Let's click done and there you go so your browser is ready just click start browsing and the browser will open uh there's this message but it's really optional but basically we're done this is the opera browser with all of its features now regarding to ai if you want to open the chat window you can click on this area icon on the left side of the screen and you'll see this chat window that you can interact with this is using the technology from GPT, Gemini, and Imagine 3. Unfortunately, it is not using the exact same image model in ChatGPT, but I think Imagine 3 is pretty good as well. So let's try using a keyword. Uh, what can you do? Hit enter. And just click agree. 
there you go so by the way you can unlock more limits and more features when you log into your opera account and also you might have noticed that it's actually not very fast so i believe they're using a low priority server and that's why the response is not as fast as in the original chat gpt and gemini websites but anyway i think it's quite useful to help you navigate through the web or maybe learn something or if, you, if there's any context that you want to understand you can use ai to give you better understanding or a better answer so that's basically it and i think i'm going to make more videos about the area ai feature in opera because it is quite fascinating actually so be sure to subscribe to this channel and if you find this video to be useful then feel free to subscribe as well and i'll see you on my next video have a great day